What's up, YouTube? This is Slingblade VII. Um, haven't done a video in a while. Uh, working on this world, you know what I mean. Doing stuff, having fun with Minecraft and whatnot. I'm sure, you guys know how that is. All right, so all of you right now are probably wondering, what is this world, and why is it here, and why am I putting it on YouTube? Well, this world is a new world I created. And it's it's really, really cool. And when I explain it for you guys, it might sound a little bit complicated at first, but when I get down to it all, you know, it, it's, it's just epic, in my opinion. All right, so you spawn here in this little area. Uh, this is all super flat mode. All right, I'm sorry if you guys don't like super flat mode or not, but for this map, you're going to want super flat mode. Um... You spawn here, you read all these rules. I'm not going to go through all those because that's really pointless. Um, if you guys want to come and play, you surely can and read them all yourself. Um, so the gist of this world, pretty much, you start out um, with level feather. Yes, level feather. Which basically means you're a complete and total scrub at the in the in the world and whatnot and you get basic starter kit and pretty much it's like kind of um what, what's the what's the world called oh god oh god uh survival island or something i don't know uh oh skyblock and you pretty much start out with these stuff and you go around and you build or start building your fort village whatever you want to call it and as you progress um, see, it takes nothing, requirement is nothing, to get these items here, which is your unlocked items. You get this. Now, when you unlock that, you get to do stuff like over here. If you make five trees, which is the requirement, five trees, to be in the coal level, you get pumpkin seeds, red mushrooms, and brown mushrooms. Now, once you get that, you can go to the next stage. And then you can be in the nether brick level, which is the third level. And then your goal is to make 10 trees, 10 W plots. And what W plot stands for is wheat plots. And P plots stand for pumpkin plots. And then uh, 5 M trees, which are mushroom trees. And once you do that, you get these items. And it just goes on and on and on. And, of course, it gets harder and harder as the levels go up. Uh, you, would, you couldn't even imagine how epically you would have to just like play on this world to get all the way to obsidian um so yeah pretty much uh to go into the more detailed parts um if you would want to be the iron division you'd have to complete all these divisions or levels and uh you'd have to build a wall around your city 20 trees 20 wheat plots melon plots and you get melons from these things and you know i mean it all leads up and basically you can't do one without the other some you can but you're not going to be able to unless you're the one before so that way you can go to that one and it gets it gets really hectic for instance like to be in this gold ingot one you have to get three gold ingots well how do you get gold ingots on super flat mode well over here when you complete this you get another portal and after you get that you get to go in the nether and you have to kill so many of them to get the golden ingots. Now you think, oh, go uh, three golden ingots. Oh, that's that's no problem. Well, the next stage you need a golden block if you want to be in there, and it just keeps increasing the amount of stuff you really need. It's it's just it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But if you guys want to accept this challenge and come and play on this world, I would definitely definitely love that. Um, this is just my little house here. I got bored for a moment. I just I just thought I'd build it for a little bit. Nothing really special. Um, this is how the world looks. Everything else is untouched. Uh, one rule when you do get in the match is you can't have your map, and um, so that way you know you can't just find people's uh, villages and just attack them. Oh, oh. Speaking of which, uh, you can attack other people's villages, but there are a set of rules, and pretty much um, it makes it so the very OP guys, the powerful guys, can't go and attack the little guys. Um, pretty much you see these green wool up here and that's uh, th these three divisions are the only ones that can attack each other. 
they can't attack anyone above them, and no one above them can attack them. Um, the yellow division, uh, they can attack themselves only if they're on that division. They can't attack anyone below or, or above. Uh, that's just to keep it fair. Um, and when you when you attack, you could raid, you could take stuff from other people. Plus, you know, if you're in the yellow division, or if you're in the green division, and you, let's say, attack someone in the yellow, and you win, I, I mean, I don't want you to get, like, melon seeds or something like that. That would really wouldn't be fair. Um, so leave a like and uh, a comment. Please leave a comment. I want to know how good or what you guys think of this idea and um, if you guys would be willing to play it. And if you would be, you know my gamer tag. It's exactly like my YouTube uh, account name, which is Slingblade VII, no spaces, capital S and capital B. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys like about it, and I guess I will catch you guys later. Peace.